Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. I almost said Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney again. Uh, Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and arrived at Tatsumi Port Island. We started going to school and we made a couple of friends. We've talked to Junpei here and we've also sort of made friends with Yukari Takeba. And in this episode, we're just going to head around the school again to see who we can talk to and just hanging out around the school. Not much going on in this opening uh, stretch of the game, as is typical of Persona games, uh, or at least modern Persona games. Usually the classic Persona games like kick off right off the bat. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Interesting thing that I uh, forgot to mention in the previous episode, I brought specific attention to this uh, game sharing voice actors with Danganronpa, and the protagonist of the first Danganronpa game is also named Makoto, so there's a funny coincidence. But the people who published uh, Danganronpa also made the Zero, or also published the Zeroscape series, which stars uh, Junpei as the protagonist of those first games. And I know this; it isn't intentional. That's not intentional at all. This is just like a weird like connection I made because I'm insane and I love these games, but that's something funny I thought I'd just point out. Yeah. You're trying to leave, you gotta go a floor down. What, did you forget or something? I don't really have a good voice for Junpei, so it'll just kind of be like my voice, but a bit more laid back, but also excited at the same time. It's weird. Your school years sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates, it's exhausting to have to start over every year. Oh, you're that transfer student. You gonna join a club or something? I'm planning to. Oh yeah? You won't be able to join right away though. I hear a lot of them are at max capacity. Well, just keep an eye out for, for an open spot. They might start recruiting again in late April. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, new kid. You have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F, like Takebasan. Don't you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? This is the second floor, and the one below has the faculty office, club rooms, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either of the two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Yeah, she's kind of our guide. I think in the original game, you'd talk to her, and you'd be like, How, how do I, you know, go and do this thing? Um, there's something I just missed out on for a second. And she would point you in the right direction. Uh, it's very weird that the student is just staring through the window, but I'll, um, but I'll just ignore that for now. I wonder if Junpei's gonna. Oh, you want to go this way? Uh, all right then. He actually does have separate dialogue for if you go out the doors on the opposite side of the room. Anyway, you. Oh, did you just transfer to our school? Right. Well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested in is Kurijo Senpai. She looks so stunning at today's welcoming ceremony too. Yeah, this is Mitsuru Superfan. She's completely obsessed with uh, Mitsuru Kurijo. Good grief. Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean that the students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order. That is, once I've officially become a member of the dis disciplinary committee. You think so? You're making such a sour face again, Odagiri Kun. I guess some things never change. Did you hear the new transfer student's gonna be in 2F? Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be a re really cute? Wanna go steal a peek? Oh yeah, he's staying at Iwatodai Dorm, the one Takibasan's staying in. But isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker in his last school. Uh, speaking of Takiba, she's right over here. Oh, you're leaving now? You know how to get back, right? Junpei, don't go teaching Yukikun any weird stuff, okay, alright? Yeah, yeah, catch you later, Yukatan. You can tell how fashionable a person is by how they wear the school uniforms. I get to brush up on the latest trends and show off my best self. I apologize for anyone who wants me to just get on with the plot, but I like going around and, you know, just talking to people, see how things are going with everyone. Uh, like this lady up here. Ah, uh, I'm already a second year. I hope I can fit in with my new class. So she's in the same year as us. Maybe she's not in the same class, but. Still, it's good to keep in mind that maybe we can become friends with her later. Here's you again. Uh, she was the student who was lost trying to find the library previously. Huh? This door leads to the courtyard? Which leads to the gym? Or was it the practice field? I'm so confused. What do you want? I'm a little busy here. Gotta text all the new friends I made today. 
It looks like you're calling them, but whatever. These classrooms are also used for club activities, not just for lessons. Typically it's the culture clubs that use them, but they don't seem to be accepting new members right now. Hi there, welcome. Oh, oops, sorry, Abbott. We're still setting up shop today. We'll have a wide selection of products ready, so come back another time if you want to buy something. Yes. Oh, it's you. Be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about school starting, so I came to the nurse's office to nap, but the nurse gave me some weird medicine instead. I turned it down because it looked really gross. Only a brave soul would dare drink something like that. That's actually something that's going to be important later, so keep that in mind. Uh, after you became tired, he went to the nurse's office and got some weird medicine. Go. You ready to get out of here? Uh, yep. That's right. Cool, let's get going. jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining a club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop's at Iwatodai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Alrighty, so we're set loose in the city again. Uh... Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. The news has been really weird lately. I even saw some p policemen around earlier. Here's an interesting thing. Uh, we received a call from this area. Is everything all okay? Uh, uh, not this again. It's the same as the weird syndrome being reported all over the news. Weird syndrome, eh? We'll keep that in mind for later. I feel like I'm saying that about a lot of things, but this game does love... Uh, talking about some important plot points very early in the story and only after you go back you're like oh that's what that was i guess a new school semester started i was wondering why i've been seeing so many students around the world's a strange place these days these kids better prepare themselves for the future don't expect me to have too many like different voices for just basic npcs because i have a hard enough time coming up for new voices for major characters so yeah. My friend is a cat, and it's so cute. I'm not allowed to have one, though, so I just try to get my fill of cats by looking at strays. I think there actually is, like... If you look around here somewhere... There's some birds. I don't know if I'm thinking of Persona 5, but... I think if you look around here, you might see a stray cat or two. I want to eat some takoyaki. Huh? Who are you? I'm not allowed to talk to strangers, sorry. I'll give you the same voice as the lunch lady. Hey there, kid. Haven't seen you around these parts before. Ah, Takayaki's lip smacking good. You'll be asking me for more before you know it. <sighs> oh, are you a student from a school around here? Oh, you'll be glad to know that you can get some quality sushi close by. I make it right here. Drop by sometime if you want. Oh, actually, our shop is still under renovation. Sorry. We are a bookstore, not a sushi res restaurant. I'm sorry. He's always like that. There's so many great shops here, I can't help but swing by. Oh, uh, I'm, out, I'm out here for work right now. I'm not slacking off. Yeah. Man, I'm stuffed after that meal. Maybe I'll run a couple laps. I wonder if someone will compete this year, like a rival to get me fired up. Interesting uh, thing to keep in mind is that all of these shops will eventually become available to you over the course of the game. And by over the course of the game, I mean like in a couple of days. Hmm? Who are you? By the looks of it, we go to the same school. Sorry, but I'm busy trying to decide what to eat here. Sh I don't know why I'm turning into papyrus all of a sudden. Should I go with a pork robot or chase it with rice? Or perhaps a large hagakure bowl? Uh, there's this third floor here, which I don't think was in the original. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, when it comes to traveling in these games, you could go... Uh, as long as you just find an exit, it doesn't matter. So last time, we went to the right here and got to the dorms. This time, we can head left. And we still get to the same, same result. We actually get a town map this time. 
uh, which will show various things pop up in different locations. So we've been to GeckoCon, we've been to Iwatode Strip Mall, we're going to the student dormitory. Let's check out Port Island Station for a quick sec. We're sort of just getting a lay of the land here. Um, but it's important because we're going to be spending the next year here, so might as well learn all of the different places we can go to right away. The station is the gateway to Tatsumi Port Island. The building's pretty modern. There's also a monorail with an incredible view ocean view. The students who commute to Gekokon High sure are lucky. So right over here we have a flower shop. Welcome, Welcome to Reflasia. Sorry, we're currently in the middle of replacing the flowers we have in stock. Please come again some other time. We also have a movie theater, which is uh, something that occurs that's in pretty much every Persona game. Your movie theater here shows a different movie every day. Movies are great. You can use what you learn from them to improve yourself for just a bit of money and time. I thought he was. It says snobby movie critic, so I thought he was gonna be like super condescending. So I decided to give him a nerd voice. Uh, didn't work out. It already sucks that. It's already a new school year? Ugh, oh, this going to school sucks. The monorail too. I was stoked to ride it at first, but now it's just boring. It's so nice out today. Feels like springtime's arrived. Doesn't it? The, cl the cherry blossoms at GeckoCon High were in full bloom, though they seem to have flowered a bit late this year. Those who are interested in flowers, does that signify anything specific? If flowers are late to bloom? Uh, we got the back alley here. We're only the cool people. Oh, there was a stray cat there. So I wasn't going crazy. No, oh, poor cat. We'll be able to help him a bit later. Man, it's the same old... I almost gave him Gumshoe's voice. You know what, screw it, let's go with it. Man, it's the same old BS every spring. Kids who don't know crap come water it onto our turf. Who the hell are you? I ain't never seen your ass around here before. This ain't a place for little kids like you. Bait it. We have a bar and a mahjong parlor. Uh, this place isn't too important for day-to-day -day school life, but it's still very important to keep this place in mind. Now I'm pretty sure we've went everywhere. By the way, there's a mini-map if you press L1. I forget if the tutorial mentioned that. Anyways... Now we can head back to the student dormitory. There are all kinds of shops here at the Iwatodai Strip Mall. If you're craving delicious food, then head to Wakatsu. There's also Hagakure, a famous ramen shop. You can also find dessert here, and burgers, and... Heh <laughs> sorry, I guess I'm just going on about food. Guess it's eating time. Just kidding. That uniform. You must be a student at Gekko Kod High. That's nice. Do you live in the storm? Looks like Gekko Kod High went through a rough patch from a while back, and, but it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Oh, never mind to me. Enjoy your new school semester this spring. So to go back to the dorm now? Might as well. We've explored pretty much every place, talked to every person we possibly can. How about we actually get on with things? Welcome back. Ah, welcome back. How was your first day at school? Not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies, I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day, so get some rest. So yeah, every day at the end of the day, we come back here. That was a very redundant sentence, but anyways. We, go, we come back to the dorm, and we can just walk around casually, and we can also talk to our various dorm mates here. By the way. It's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should go and get a good night's rest. You can't tell me what to do. We cannot allow you to go out after dark. Sorry, but rules are rules. Well, I guess you can. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hi, what are you doing? Uh, not much, how about you? Um... Uh, just killing time, I guess. Well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Everyone wants me to go to sleep. Before anyone makes the joke, yes. Often, at the beginning of Persona games, you just have to go to sleep a lot. Just a reminder for you guys that this game is like... 
60 to 70 hours long, so it does take some time to start to kick off. I should go to bed. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. I can hear people talking. Have you heard? Hey, have you heard the rumor about, uh, what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, It's coming. It's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably just all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. The first bell was wrong. Or has rung. Swapped out one letter. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Tota Kaneko's work any lately. His essays are fantastic, and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haikus, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey, hey Iori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a, ra a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? What? Uh, psst, Makoto, you were listening, right? Lend a brother a hand. Social stats. This is where I'll actually get to talk about them. We have three social stats. Academics, charm, and courage. The higher the social stats are, the more stuff we get to do because there is quite a few th there are quite a few things that are locked behind social stats. You raise them by doing various things such as paying attention in class. You can get various um, social stat boosts depending on what you do. And there's also some stuff after school that we can do to help raise our social stats as well. Which, what phrase symbolizes summer? So if you were paying attention, or if you open up the log by pressing L3, uh, where is it? Vivid carp streamers are related to summer. So there you go. Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. By the way, m mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represent spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. In a rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Our next topic is... <laughs> well, you know how much I like to pay attention. Man, you seriously saved my bacon, Makoto. Yuki-kun gave him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I can hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular. There we go. We get a little bit towards uh, charm. There are five total levels. Or no, there are six total levels. You can rank it up five times. And uh, we just put a point towards charm there. Interestingly, in Personas 4 and 5, the answering questions correctly in class goes to academics. Charm, I think, makes a little bit more sense because, be like logically, because, you know, Kids around you think you're a bit smarter, they think more highly of you, they think you're more charming. 
uh, whereas it doesn't really make sense to gain knowledge from stating something that you already know in class. I mean, I feel like when comparing this game to other Persona games, I feel like it's going to sound like I'm putting those games down. I absolutely love uh, Personas 4 and 5 as well. And uh, there are also the classic Persona games. I need to get around to finishing 2. I, Persona 1 wasn't really the game for me. 2 is a bit more fun though. I'll come back to you guys with my opinion on uh, the 2 duology once I finally finish it. Anyways, uh, I should head back to the dorm. There's another line of dialogue there, but I accidentally skipped it. Iwatode strip malls bustling with the activity in the afternoon. I saw Junpei in the background there. He's hanging out with uh, another guy that we saw previously. Oh, he's back! So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? So, they don't really explain this, but this menu right here is a bit different because you can choose all of these options. Uh, so I'll just ask all of these questions. Like, first of all, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? The other night I saw... You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? No, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, clever, isn't it? I'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I should listen to them and go rest in my room. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. <laughs> what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it sucks. No. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m.
What's happening to me? Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document I signed at the dorm. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. All right. Hold on to this. Until we meet again. Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. It's times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of your teacher can really spice up your dreams. All right, so don't sleep in class is the is the more responsible one. But like I said previously, one of our main characters like character traits is that he's super sleepy all the time i know what you mean right. it's really addicting right ain't it after you build up the courage to do it once you gotta try it again then again since i'm not listening to the lecture i'm pretty much screwed later oh uh, but we have classic literature today that means we're stuck with mr nasty Lakota. I'm Mr. Okoda. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong? The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. Feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? So... Previously, when we answered a question in class, that raised our charm. Our two other stats, uh, courage and academics, can be raised through this. If we stay awake and listen to the lecture, we'll raise our academics. If we close our eyes, then we'll raise our courage. 
Closing Your Eyes also had a different uh, sort of thing going on with it in uh, the original Persona 3, had an extra function to it. But I'm going to be choosing to stay awake because in this game, Academics is probably the hardest one to raise up, so I'll take all the points that I can get. Plus we get some extra dialogue if we stay awake. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now open your textbooks. First uh, on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, it, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it Da Bomb. Ugh, I can tell you people are zoning out on me. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. And there we go, one point to academics. What's up? How's it going? Wanna stop somewhere on the way home? Where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo! One more try. Just one more. I hung out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Alrighty, we've got our maps and shortcuts. When you press L1, it'll show all of the different places you can go and shortcuts. So, for example, if I wanted to quickly head to the fourth floor hallway, instead of running up all the stairs, I could just go... And now I'm here. Anyways, this video has been going on for far too long, so let's go ahead and end it off here. This might become a regular occurrence here where videos are 30 minutes and above. Usually I aim for like 20, 25 minutes, somewhere in there, but this series very well may have 30 plus minute videos because if it was just 20 minute videos every time, and let's say this took us 60 hours, that would mean that we would have around 180 episodes, which is quite a lot. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.